A 35-27 final in an East Division clash that became the game of the year so far in 2023, Dwayne Ford, between the Montreal Alouettes and the Toronto Argonauts. And this game was full of a little bit of everything. Big hits, long pass plays, majors all over the place. <laughs> it broke open, and for most of it, we had no idea who was going to take control. Yeah, a little bit of back and forth. Toronto started fast. Montreal countered before the half. A little bit of a lull through the middle of the game, but what a fantastic start and finish to this one. I mean, this is the opening drive. DeMonte Coxey, highlight reel down the sidelines. They follow that up seconds later. Devaris Daniels taking a big shot from Marc-Antoine de but holding on to the ball. They have a touchdown pass, Tyler Sneed. This was one of three for Sneed, by the way, in his second CFL game. Austin Mack doing his thing along the sideline. David Unger answers the bell show, and he's got a little bit of tap dance in his game as well. And then Cody Fajardo, the escape artist, finds Sneed for a second. Kelly DeMonte Coxey upping the ante on his previous great catch. Unger has got his second of the ball game. Just what a fantastic onslaught of highlights for us in this one. Just a great game that came right down to the last possession. Let's hear from the winning quarterback. It is Chad Kelly with Kenzie Lalonde. Well, Chad, the bye week certainly didn't slow you guys down. What were your thoughts here on the game tonight? Uh, we did good, uh, but we shot ourselves in the foot too many times. We had 15-some penalties. First half, we were we were moving it. We'd get a penalty, move it, penalty, move it, you know, whatever it was. Something. we got to just stay ahead of the sticks like we always talk about. Keep being positive each and every day. Good job, bro. Um, and, you know, good things happen, but it was a team effort today. We just got to clean it up and get better said you were you know not afraid to throw this deep ball so far in this game did you know that that was going to be a, a style for your game here tonight no I, I thought the offensive line did well I think there was any sacks today so that was good uh, you know I had that one pick that was just stupid never throw across your body like that especially in open field like that uh, you know I, I thought the running backs opened up opened up you know passing lanes with the way we ran it in the second half and you know it, it takes a whole team effort and you know we just got to clean some things up that Unger catch was one to remember. What did you see on that final play? Yeah, uh, he ran a go route. I got to wait for the motion to get over there. Um, you know, I kind of snapped it way too early. He just he just always comes to play. You know, he's one of the speedsters out there. You got to count for him at all times because he'll take the top off. Well, you guys are now 4-0. That's something the Toronto Argonauts haven't seen since 1983. Nice. So how does that sound? Yeah, it sounds good. Uh, you know, it's still the start of the season. We got a lot of things to clean up if we want to keep on getting better. Congratulations, Chet. Thank you. Go Argos. Thank you. Go. Chad Kelly knows that he made a couple of errors in this one. Obviously has areas that he'd like to get cleaned up. What do you take away from this game, though, Dwayne? Well, I think you've got, first of all, from Montreal side, a, a team that comes to compete. I mean, they were dealing with a short week coming back from BC, playing against a team that was undefeated and coming off the bye, and they, they took them right down to the wire despite getting knocked back on their heels early on. So lots of positives there for Montreal to build on despite taking the loss in this one. William Stanback got going a little bit. Tyler Sneed seems to be that extra option they're looking for in the receiving course. So some things, as I said, things on which they can build going forward. For Toronto, they keep winning and finding ways to win, right? It's not always perfect. It's not always pretty. But the, the outcome of the game is the most important thing. At crunch time, when they had to get it done, they got it done. And they're getting plays from lots of different people. It looked like, you know, again, new quarterback. There were going to be some changes in that receiving core. New quarterback looks terrific, over 300 yards for, for Kelly in this one, completing over 80% of his passes to boot. David Unger stepping up, DeMonte Coxey stepping up. It's uh, lots of positives for the Argonauts yeah. as well, not to mention that undefeated record. For the Montreal Alouettes, they only had one practice coming into this one on a short week coming back from the West Coast after a loss against the BC Lions. They've now slid three straight games after starting 2-0 on the year. They get a bye week to rest up and figure out how they move forward. For the Toronto Argonauts, heard Kenzie talk about it. They are 4-0 for the first time since 1983. They were 3-0 for the first time since 1991. Both of those years, they won the Grey Cup. We're going to see next Friday night whether or not they can move to 5-0 for the first time since 1960. If they do it, it'll be against who else? Their QEW rivalry, the Hamilton Tiger Cats.